What's up, guys? A uh, fucking divorce, right? This is something that touches almost every guy's life, either in your life or your dad's life or your friend's life. Women are divorcing in record numbers. No fault, so you can just take money no matter what you're doing. You could be cheating with the neighbor, cheating with the best friend. You could uh, write a you know gossip column about your husband. You could um, threaten to kill him you know, verbally. You could... Uh, have a child with another man you know you could have three men move in with you and do threesomes every day it doesn't matter because in the end it's no fault so whatever happens it's no fault so the things get split up 50 50 so looking at the now we're looking at the most expensive divorce in history is coming up and i saw this i thought i better i better pop something out i've been thinking about doing a divorce episode this is not going to be a, a long one so it's going to be a short one because i got to get out of got to get out of here but i wanted to hit it uh, there's a guy, I don't know if you guys know him in the States. If you're in the UK, you're going to definitely know this guy. Robin, uh, Roman uh, uh, Brinovich. Uh, uh, he's a yeah, guy's really well known. I've seen his name all over the place. I think he owes uh, some soccer club. And uh, he gets around. Cool guy, you'll see. Uh, but he's got $7 billion. So his wife of 10 years. Okay. So now this guy uh, is Russian. So he could have he stayed in Russia and he would have a very cheap divorce, but instead he's in the UK. So he's in kind of the uh, the uh, axis of evil, which is when it comes to divorce. And that's the United States, uh, Australia, uh, New Zealand, uh, Canada, and the UK. These are the main, you know, where you're going to get fleeced as a guy, no matter what. Other countries like Japan, you might not, you might get off a much easier with a divorce. It depends. It really depends. Uh, and I'm sure I'd like to hear because uh, more about uh, what your experiences in different countries, what percentage you got taken for, uh, and how it all went down. Because that's the most important thing. The amount of money is one thing, but also how it all went down. It really matters because if you were accused of something uh, illegal, you know, wrongly, and then you had to exonerate yourself, and all the stress that you have to go through for that, it's becoming more and more common in Australia. I know. So real quick, we're looking at a seven billion dollar individual who's getting divorced. Uh, the most expensive they got here is in the past uh, five four hundred fifty three million pounds. That's uh, so in dollars. I don't know exactly, but let's say six hundred billion dollars. It's a huge amount of money. Huge amount of money. And they're they're interviewing the um, lawyer and the president of the law firm that they're going to use. So she's getting some free publicity here. Uh, for other wealthy guys, you know, so this is such a profitable niche. Uh, according to the movie uh, Divorce Corp, uh, which I posted earlier, uh, it's a fifty billion dollar industry. But you can see that that uh, Divorce Corp. Okay, this is one thing is really important. Even if you see something that's MGTOW friendly or you think is MGTOW friendly, if you dig a little deeper, it's often not. And with the movie Divorce Corp, if you watch it, it's still totally worth watching. Uh, I, I can post the video, the link below. It's on YouTube. But the thing is, is that a lot of the examples they used were women paying child support uh, and alimony, which everybody knows is is like a very, very small percentage of people. But he chose 50-50 from what I could guess, like about 50-50. You know, it was like a lot of women paying child support, a lot of women paying alimony. And that is just not the case. So you can see that it's not a male friendly MGTOW video. It's basically he's trying to work on the courts. He's in a, a, a totally different perspective than MGTOW. And I actually emailed uh, the company uh, to interview uh, Mr. Songa, I think it is, Jorge Songa, to uh, talk about, uh, from a MGTOW perspective, the movie Divorce Corp. And I was turned down. I was turned down. And uh, so he, they said he's too busy, can't interview. Uh, which anybody in the media knows that uh, anybody who has a movie, has a book, you want to get as much publicity as possible. And especially in the niche that we're talking about here, which is males 18 to 60. That's basically the audience here on Ronin Man. So this is the exact audience that you want for your, your video because you know these guys are going to be going to watch the movie, right? But they, he was strangely not available. He was not available for an interview. If anybody is... If you've ever emailed anybody to get an interview, and I have a lot in the media, is that it's pretty easy. And to not get it when you have a channel that's getting more popular, getting more views. We have 70,000 views now on Ronin Man, and that's because of you. Thank you very much. But even then, he didn't have time. So I had a feeling it was a MGTOW thing. So I 
email them again instead of saying like you know you guys are against me i just said i wrote a nice email i said hey look i know he's busy he's obviously very successful and i, I found the three uh co-authors uh of the movie and i got their names and i said hey i'm happy to meet and talk to any of these guys we can promote the book we can promote the movie i wrote a very, very positive uh response guess what all those people are unavailable. So basically, the three writer co-writers and the 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 main writer are unavailable, and nobody else was you know offered. Nobody nobody else was available to do an interview. So basically, it's very obvious that they don't want to do a MGTOW interview. Uh, so that right there is just even if you think somebody's your friend, you think that they're like on your side, like they're they're working you know for men's side. They totally are not. Divorce Corp. I I posted it earlier. I, I would say you should watch it for free, but d- definitely don't give any money because this company is not supporting us, you know. And if they change their mind, that's totally fine. Uh, we're, we, we support them too, you know. Everybody makes mistakes. There's a lot of, right now, uh, pressure. Uh, if you have advertisers, there's an immense amount of bullying going on for anybody who's supporting men. And so if that's the case, and later on, uh, you know, Mr. Masoga, Songa, uh, contacts me. I'm totally happy to do an interview. Uh, but at the case situation right now, they're either too afraid or they don't support MGTOW. So we can't uh, support them because it's not that we don't support anybody who doesn't support us because I do support people who don't support me uh, at times. But this is a specific situation. Men are being fleeced of their life savings. And the author of the most successful movie about divorce, The Business of Divorce, does not want to talk to us, does not want to talk to men. He hasn't done one MGTOW interview. So, I mean, that's just really bad. That's like, he did one with an MRA with uh, Paul Elam. And if you watch it, uh, it is a little bit, you can tell he's not really like on board. Like he, he did it. I don't think he knew who Paul was at the time, but now he's not doing anything, right? That was a couple years ago, right? He hasn't done anything since. And, you know, he's, he's getting attacked every, every which way. But, hey, this is, this is a guy's issue, no question about it. And MGTOW are interested. MGTOW will watch the movie, and I will promote the shit out of it if they give us an interview. But uh, right now, they're either too afraid or not going to do it. But here we go, a guy getting a $7 million uh, fortune taken. Uh, we don't know the exact numbers. This is a brand-new article. Uh, but here you can see his wife. I mean, look at the guy. I mean, he knows he got taken. And look at her face. She's like, that's the look that your sister gives you when she sets you up, and then you get busted for something that she did, right? Your parents, you know, that's the kind of look is like, I outsmarted him, right? And then, and she did. So she, you know, there's a good reason she has that look on her face. Uh, okay, we got him here, blah, blah, blah. Okay, he's going to go get divorced in Britain. So it's pretty bad. Um, yeah, so that, here we go. It's a $3.5 million possible million dollar judgment. Billion, sorry, billion dollar judgment. And uh, we'll see what it comes out to. I did the numbers and uh, $3.5 billion uh, divided by, there's 89,000 hours in uh, 10 years. He's married for 10 years. So that comes out to $39,325 uh, uh, per hour. Uh, so that's basically what we're, or was it, was it dollars or pounds? Let's see. Might have been pounds, actually. Oh, yeah, it's pounds. Sorry. It's like 50% more than that almost. You know, it's much higher than that. It's, uh, let's say, 60 at least, at least $60,000. Uh, so $60,000. Oh, it's a little bit down. Let's say fifty five. Let's say 55000 It's more than the dollar, the pound. Uh, so $55,000 an hour for 10 years for her services. Most expensive whore I've ever heard of. And that's 10 years, 24 hours a day. So unless she was not sleeping and she was constantly screwing him, I would suspect... It's a lot more if you count how many times they had sex and how long that lasted. You know, I'm guessing we're talking in the hundreds of millions of dollars, perhaps. Uh, definitely the huge, huge amount of money. And that's if, uh, obviously, that's if she gets the 3.5 billion, which she won't get the whole thing. But just to give you a number, I wanted to give you a calculation so you can, when you're calculating the costs of everyday life, you know, what you want to spend money on, uh, this particular wife will cost you $55,000 an hour, right? So pretty expensive like almost a new tesla every hour just to have uh, this girl around you uh with that face looking at you with that face right so that's not really and again this is not the fifty-five thousand dollars an hour 
is actually pretty small. If you look at what she spent when she was married to him, you're talking about a, it's a ton more money. And nobody ever honestly calculates it. And the last thing I want to say about mentioning Divorce Corp movie was they said it, divorce is a $50 billion industry. $50 billion, just so you know, $50 billion is for the lawyers. Okay, that's the services that are helping divorces. Now, that doesn't tell me what the industry is worth. See, to me, how much the industry is worth is how much money is taken away from guys and the lawyers, okay, how much they get. That's important, but that's not the main thing. The main thing is how much money was taken, right? That will tell you not how much was paid for one service or the other because the woman took the other one. So you have to calculate. You have to take how much did she get and how much did the lawyers get. I don't know why they would even bother just saying what the lawyers got because it's not a $50 billion industry. The family law courts in the United States process more money than all the other courts combined every year. So that's why you see such high quality lawyers now uh, that are doing family law because it's the most profitable, more than Mexican mafia. You know when they bust those Mexican mafia and they have the rooms full of cash uh, or when you have like a company like Microsoft or Google, Amazon, Boeing, you know, these companies are small peanuts compared to divorce court. I'm dead. Sorry, compared to family law. Family law is the most money moves through family law courts than all the other courts combined. So this here, this 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 uh, seven billion dollar man about to get fleeced is not an exaggeration. I want you to know that I, I, I wouldn't do that. I don't want to do that on my channel. I don't want to like do some exaggerated example and get all emotional about it. It's like, no, no, let's just talk about the reality of the situation. This is just one example. Obviously, he's a wealthy guy and he's not the saddest case. The saddest case is guys who end up homeless and the suicide rate among males. This is something that's much more pertinent and important. But it is interesting when you see a guy like this, because in the old days, if you had money, you had power. And there's this idea of the patriarchy that supposedly guys have all the power. Uh, but you can see this man here has no power at all, even is in his own home. Uh, and in fact, his home is you know going to be taken away, right? A number of his homes are going to be taken away. No question about that. Uh, this, uh, this uh, whatever you call it, Party B that he was hanging out with for 10 years is going to take $55,000 an hour for every hour of the 10 years, including sleeping, that she earned from being with this guy. So that's that's basically what we're looking at with this one. That's why it's so interesting. And the amount of money is obviously interesting. So I'm going to follow this one. I'll come with a, a follow-up. But it's not just money, guys. Divorce and marriage is, is a bad idea for so many reasons. And let's look at one of the other main reasons. Here we have another guy. And this is the same day, both today. Uh, 12th of August, 2017, was both on the mail online talking to Wayne Rooney's wife. Okay, now this is one of the most successful ta and most talented footballer, okay, soccer in the States and Canada, but footballer in the world. 82 million uh, pounds he has, so it's by over $100 million. That's just from playing sports. Amazing guy. You know, if you ever watched him play, he's a beast. He scores like mad. But guess who's Guess guess what his real life is like. What is his real life? Let's look at this. I wish Wayne would put the bins out. Colleen Rooney reveals what her life is really like as she reveals her footballer husband never does housework and and admits, admits, okay, whatever that means, I don't think he uses his mind much. Now, here is one of the most successful, uh, powerful guys in the world of sports. Obviously, to play sports is... Uh, mind intensive you you need to know the you need to know uh, the intricacies of a game I, obviously this woman here doesn't uh, have much knowledge of life or, or anything because to play I remember when I played football and I had I got a I they handed me a book full of plays and I had to study those plays and I was 15 I was like I thought this was going to be easy you know I thought we were gonna have to learn anything you know and there was they were complex too we were playing the the wishbone defense it was complex, man. I had to study my butt off because I'd never played football before, you know, uh, organized football. And a lot of, a lot of, you know, on the beach or in the park, but not organized. So I had to learn all these plays. And whenever you play any sport, you realize how long it takes to really understand the sport. You know, even today when I watch a, a baseball game uh, at age 52, I'm finally understanding the game completely. I remember when I was a kid, I didn't really understand the game, to be honest. I thought I did. But now the older I get, I realize how little I understood the game. 
But uh, it takes time to really figure these things out. But she thinks he doesn't use his mind much. And she says so publicly. So she's shaming him, right? Probably on the verge of divorce, this one. I hope it is. I hope that he is able to divorce her. Uh, and I hope he had a prenup. Uh, and But they're really, you can see the media here is really giving her hand jobs like crazy. Like They have her name in here, Wayne. They don't have Wayne Rooney. Colleen Rooney's name is in there, right? And I don't think he uses his name, his, his mind. Uh, so basically, you might think uh, it's it's easy to be the wife of a rich guy, but it's not. It's tough. It's the, the, the biggest problem, she says, in a barely concealed exasperation is clear. You have to live with Wayne. That's the downside. You have to live with your husband, the one who's funding you. Uh, she, You can see she's very average looking, but she's covered in makeup and got a very expensive dress, expensive background, a very high quality photographer. But So she's supposed to be like super hot, right? Because this, and she's now she's in demand because she married Wayne Rooney, so now she's in demand. Everybody wants to see her, right? It's like the first lady. Well, I don't even know what the first lady position is. It's 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 like first lady of business. Anybody's worked for a small company, you know, there's always a first lady, and she's calling the shots. And if you're working in a small company, you better know that, and you better suck up fast because she is the boss. It's not the husband. It never is. I am speaking from experience, so. You definitely want to, uh, these women, are they, they, they just take control. So here she is. Now she's not only taking control, she's dissing the guy who gave her the control, who gave her the power. She's transformed from a gawky teenager, okay, to the most, one of the country's most photographed woman. I mean, she's a gawky person now, you know, and uh, she was a gawky teenager then, and she's supposed to be so awesome, but uh, let's see here. So now she is basically dissing her own husband, they say in this article again, so you know, obviously the media loves to jump on these things to make guys look stupid. Uh, in this case, uh, not using your mind would be stupid. Uh, but obviously to be good at sports, as I said, is difficult. And also to do, a, you know, to negotiate for uh, sponsorships and things like that to, to work with big companies, which is what a major star has to do. Uh, it takes a lot of brain work. And it takes a lot of brain power and negotiation power, uh, which is not being appreciated by his own wife. And she really has the keys because what can he do? You know, they've got a 20 million pound house, right? And, uh, or they're building, sorry, they're building a 20 million pound. They have, they have a 5 million pound house. They're building a 20 million. And you know, guess who this is built for? It's for the family. Guess who the family is? The family's her family, right? She's coming over, right? So it's been 15 years. She's been with him. Obviously, it's a huge mistake. Um, she said, what's it like to be with him? It's boring. Uh, she likes to moan about her husband and former childhood sweetheart. So basically, there ain't no love going on. And the thing is, is that um, I'm going to cut this off short. But in the old days, whenever a man was being uh, robbed by a woman, by the courts, the reason was is because he wasn't a good man. Generally, there was some kind of something he had done. He didn't come home at night. He didn't take care of the children. He was drunk. He was, you know, abusive. He was arrested. There's always something. He didn't make enough money. But today we're seeing situations are very, very different. We're seeing oligarchs and we're seeing masters of the universe in the sporting world just getting not only cornholed, but there's like people cheering on the sidelines for guys getting ruined. And here he is. You can see the guy. He's obviously a good father. He's got three. He gave her three kids. He gave her uh, over a hundred million dollars to spend and, and use. He gave her worldwide visibility, where she's one of the most photographed women in the, in the United Kingdom. And she will publicly do an interview just to hurt him. And this is while they're still married. Wait till this woman gets to divorce stage. I would guess the other one, when Roman gets divorced, the seven billion dollar man. She is going to be watching close, and she probably has this uh, link open on her computer. She's going to show, uh, uh, you know, Wayne, they're like, hey, you know, you're not above the law. You know, if you do anything, you know, you give me any shit, I'm going to do any interview I want to do. You give me any shit, you're going to lose 50 million pounds. So, you know, fuck off, you know. And um, that's what's going on today in the world. And meanwhile, supposedly the patriarchy is uh, the big thing. And you can see this woman here. She is not uh, attractive, you know, and that's her done up. I mean, she looks like her, her jaw looks like some kind of, I don't know, it just looks uh, 
a little bit scary. She's not uh, she's not attractive. And again, I don't want to diss too much on that. I am serious though. I don't think she's attractive. But so you know, hey, I'll tell you something. Men have a right to what they think. Okay, and women have a right to what they think. And if you think someone's not attractive, and she's screwing somebody over, and she's you know abusing this guy publicly okay she's putting herself in the public eye and she's saying she's you know she's now the most photographed woman it's only because of wayne that's the main reason why i talk about her not being pretty is it's it's because of wayne the guy next to her he is the reason for her not being you know crack or whatever she was going to be back home you know just growing up in the in the uh the ghetto back home that was her future but instead she is living the lap of luxury uh, building a 20 million pound house, so $30 million house. Uh, you know, things are good. Things are good in her life. But even then, she doesn't appreciate it. And it's not glamorous. I have a car full of kids, taking them to training every night after school. Tournaments can be a bit of a headache. Uh, one day, Wayne came to a match and he spent the whole time taking photos with the kids and then, you know, blah, blah, blah. So now she's saying that his own son said, You never even saw me play. So I ban Wayne now for matches because Kai gets upset. Guess why Kai gets upset? Kai gets upset because the mother is training the kid to hate his father. And to he has responsibilities and the kid's too young to understand that. He's too young to understand that. So the job of the wife is to say, look, daddy's busy. He'll be free. And he was signing autographs and doing that's what you do as a professional. You are a public figure. If you blow people off, it is not good for your club. It is not good for your brand. It is not good for the sport of soccer. But she wants him to sacrifice. In a sense, she's kind of like sabotaging his career at the same time by publicly shaming him, by putting his kid against him. Nobody likes somebody whose kid doesn't like him. Nobody likes. That's that's a bad sign, right? If a dog doesn't like you, people don't, they don't trust you. If your own kids don't like you, people don't trust you. Nobody says, well, why don't the kids like you? Why? What happened, right? It's too much thinking, right? So she's she's basically on full out assault move uh, mode in her on her uh, husband, and uh, not any appreciation at all. And uh, let's talking about how much money he made three hundred thousand pounds a week at Manchester United. He's making more now. Huge gated community. He's only thirty one years old. So this isn't even a case of like. This isn't even a case of like an older guy who's like washed up and, you know, she has these reasons to be upset. I mean, she's got a guy in a prime of his life. He's kicking ass and everything from being sponsored to like sports to being a great father to, uh, to being really cool to her. She's not locked in some dungeon somewhere. He put her on a pedestal. He put her in the, I guarantee you this, he put her into the media by introducing her to people that he met. And you know that's true. And that's how she got to the top, right? Through his contacts that he introduced. He now used those contacts. She used those contacts to damage him and his career and his relationship with his son and his kids. So that's basically what's going on here. You have, so the, the, the money part is only one part of a divorce that's so bad. But you can see here that the whole idea of marriage is just a freaking nightmare. Uh, you know, he, this guy would be so happy if he was single. You know, he, you can see Rooney, like, the guy seems to be a very easygoing guy. You know, I see him having a good time a lot. You know, this guy is the kind of guy I wouldn't mind, you know, uh, hanging out with, you know. But uh, you can see this woman here, you'd try to avoid her uh, if you could, right? So there we go. Rona Man signing off. I better get going. I got to go Got to go run across town. And um, I know you guys are not, you know, running around to get divorced, but I get married. But uh, I thought I would just uh, kind of give you a perspective on divorce, how big it is and how nobody talks about it. I'm going to do a blockbuster fact-filled episode about divorce. This is just kind of like an introduction to the concept. So if you have any con any ideas you want to share about divorce, any articles, links, videos, anything you think will be helpful or, or just like cut them down to comments that you think are going to be really make the episode better, please either comment below uh, or send them to roninmigtow at gmail.com. All right, guys. Thank you very much. And uh, hope you have a, uh, a good day. And uh, I know I will... See you later.